As if the Nothing Phone 2A was not enough, we now have a Nothing Phone 2A Plus. But how does it fare when it comes to battery life against the Nothing Phone 2A? Well, let's find out in this four-way extreme battery drain test between the Nothing Phone 2A Plus, the OnePlus Nord 4, the CMF Phone 1, and the Nothing Phone 2A on mobile data only with no Wi-Fi option. Let's get into it. When it comes to the performance and battery specs, starting with the Nothing Phone 2A Plus, it is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7350 Pro chipset, and it is packing a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. For the OnePlus Nord 4, it is packing a 5,500 milliamp hour battery, and it is powered by the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3. For the CMF Phone 1, it is packing a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and it is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7300 chipset. And for the Nothing Phone 2A, it is packing a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and it's powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro chipset. Now, when it comes to the parameters of this extreme battery drain test, any settings that will actually limit performance and consistency throughout the whole battery drain test, we've made sure to disable it so we get a consistent performance all the way through. When it comes to the display, we have actually selected 120 Hertz adaptive on all of them. And of course, they are running on the latest version of their software available at the time of this recording. Now, when we look at the performance profiles for the OnePlus Nord 4 this time around, we have enabled the high performance mode. Go check our previous extreme battery drain test where the high performance mode was disabled, but because this is our second drain test with the Nord 4, we wanted to see how the difference would be with the performance mode on. So that's one caveat difference that we have here. And when you look at the Geekbench, you can see the performance difference with it on and off across the board. And you can see that the OnePlus Nord 4 is the most powerful when it comes to the chipset out of all of these devices. When it comes to the display calibration, all form of adaptive brightness have been disabled and I have tried my best to calibrate each display as close to 200 nits as possible. And as stated with our extreme battery drain test, we are doing this on mobile data only with no Wi-Fi option. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Let's start things off with this extreme battery drain test between the Nothing Phone 2A Plus, the OnePlus Nord 4 CMF Phone 1 and the Nothing Phone 2A. These are going to be some of the heaviest hitters when it comes to battery life on our extreme battery drain test. So it's going to be interesting interesting to see how the Nothing Phone 2A Plus pulls off against the rest. And of course, with our extreme battery drain test, we do shoot it as one continuous video and we only speed up in important places so you don't have to sit around for hours and wait like I had to. So if you appreciate the effort that goes into our extreme battery drain test, make sure you like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos on the Love of Tech channel, especially when it comes to our extreme battery drain test. Road to 100k subscribers for 2024 or no later than mid-2025 let's try and do it for 2024 it's a lot of hard work but with your support we can make it happen and of course we are running this on mobile data with no wi-fi option so it should be as realistic as well as extreme as possible right we're going to run it through popular applications and the first one is going to be tiktok and like i always say tiktok is like the wicked wild west when it comes to posting content and consuming content as well so if you want to see more content from us on the tech side over on tiktok then definitely be sure to follow us over there at lover of tech ba so as we're running through it on tiktok we're going to pretty much see that yeah things are going to be a very very tough one and we are pretty much going to be going the distance across the board now just remember we have placed the oneplus nord 4 in the high performance mode go check our previous battery drain test where it wasn't in the high performance mode to see the difference first interval 91 percent battery 36.9 degrees celsius minus 9 percent battery loss on the 2a plus 94% battery, 37.0 degrees Celsius, minus 6% battery loss on the Nord 4. 92% battery, 36.8 degrees Celsius, minus 8% battery loss on the CMF Phone 1. And then 91% battery, 37.4 degrees Celsius, minus 9% battery loss on the Phone 2A. So it's going to be a pretty interesting one when it comes to how far these phones are going to go. We are pretty much going to go past the seven hour mark for sure. And I know for a fact, it's going to go down to wire to see which ones make it to the eight hour mark for WhatsApp video call. Next is Instagram and with Instagram Reels. In an hour of Instagram Reels, I've said it, Instagram has pretty much become one of my favorite social media platforms when it comes to engaging with people, keeping up with people, and also a lot of BTS with behind the scenes of what we're getting up to at Lover of Tech when it comes to upcoming content, product releases, and even press trips when we're around the world. So if you want to see more BTS content from us, then definitely follow us on Instagram at Lover of Tech underscore BA. Now we're rounding up an hour of Instagram Reels. 
it is 81% battery, 36.3 degrees Celsius, minus 10% battery loss on the 2A+. 84% battery, 36.9 degrees Celsius, minus 10% battery loss on the Nord 4. 82% battery, 36.2 degrees Celsius, minus 10% battery loss on the CMF Phone 1. And 81% battery, 36.2 degrees Celsius, minus 10% battery loss on the Nothing Phone 2A. So very, very even across the board when it comes to efficiency, minus 10% battery loss across the board. But the toughest one is going to be Instagram Live, which is next running up, next to recording 4K video for an hour. This is the toughest part of our extreme battery drain test when it comes to battery drain, especially on mobile data. So as we're going through the hour, we're pretty much gonna be seeing where are these phones going to be when it comes to Instagram Live. And obviously with Instagram Live, it's something I do on a regular basis, especially when it comes to co-collaborative Instagram Live with my other content creator buddies and pretty much engaging with my audience and also just having Q&A and catch up. So it's definitely something I do on a regular basis. So it's interesting to see how phones handle it when on mobile data. And after three hours, it's 65% battery, 42.2 degrees Celsius, minus 16% battery loss. 69% battery, 41.7 degrees Celsius, minus 15% battery loss. 67% battery, 41.0 degrees Celsius, minus 15% battery loss. And then 67% battery, 40.2 degrees Celsius, minus 14% battery loss. Boy, this is a very, very interesting one and in how it's playing out. So as we're pretty much looking at the ambient temperature of the room as well, we do have a thermometer on the right that shows the humidity percentage as well as the ambient temperature within the room. So looking at that real time to pretty much see how they're all handling it. It is obviously summer of day in the UK, but you know, summer in the UK can fluctuate between mostly not very hot at all. to so odd days where it just feels like a hot box inside. So bear that in mind, we do have a decent room temperature to be working with in this particular situation. And it's been quite an efficient loss, a high one, especially especially if we're looking at the 2A+, but everything across the board is ranging between 14% to 16%. Next is gonna be YouTube, and we are pretty much playing our definitive camera comparison with the S24 Ultra, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and the Pixel 8 Pro with the S24 Ultra that came out in January 2024 this year. So we're pretty much streaming this, and I'll say this one is very, very tough on the modem when it comes to buffering. So sometimes things can slow down, but we've pretty much streaming it at the highest possible stable, in which case it is 1440p 60 fps when it comes to the video stream and in this particular situation as we're getting through once we get to the end at the four hour mark we're looking at 52 percent battery 38.3 degrees celsius minus 13 percent battery loss 59 percent battery 37.4 degrees Celsius minus 10% battery loss on the Nord 4 compared to the 2A+. 55% battery, 37.8 degrees Celsius minus 12% battery loss on the CMF Phone 1. And then 55% battery, 37.8 degrees Celsius minus 12% battery loss on the Nothing Phone 2A. It looks like the CMF Phone 1 and the Nothing Phone 2A are really level peggings and things are falling back a little bit when it comes to the Phone 2A+. Hmm, a very similar phone in a lot of ways. YouTube music next as we're going through one of my favorite projects and albums of all time, Kanye West's College Dropout. And this is definitely a part where I get a nice boost in terms of the tracks, timeless, back to back. And it's just something that keeps me motivated as I'm going through. And I would say the one that was really getting me hyped was Kanye's workout plan. So yeah, that's one track that is such a fan vibe, especially when it comes to the pre-skit, the skits in between and the whole track in itself. But yeah, College Dropout, man. Timeless, absolutely timeless. Now when we get to the five hour mark, what we're working with when it comes to the battery is 42% battery, 35.3 degrees Celsius, minus 10% battery loss on the 2A+. And then 47% battery, 36.7 degrees Celsius, minus 12% battery loss on the Nord 4. And then 45% battery, 36.1 degrees Celsius, minus 10% battery loss on the CMF Phone 1. And then 46% battery, 35.5 degrees Celsius, minus 9% battery loss on the Phone 2A. The Phone 2A had the most efficient run when it came to YouTube music in this particular situation. So that's very interesting. The rest, the most that actually had the highest loss was the OnePlus Nord 4. Definitely go watch the previous battery drain test on the Nord 4 without the performance mode on. We've got the performance mode on here because I thought, you know, if I'm running it a second time, let me see how it behaves with the performance mode on. 
Next is Twitter Spaces. And in this particular situation, Twitter Spaces is a place where I can pretty much hang out with other creators, have discussion and topics, as well as our audience that come in to also chime in and also listen to what we're discussing about and also interject their opinions as well. So that's something I do on a regular basis. But yeah, Twitter or X, let me know in the comment section below which one you are. I'm still gonna stick to Twitter. Once we get to the six hour mark, it is 31% battery, 38.0 degrees Celsius minus 11% battery loss. And then it is 38% battery, 37.3 degrees Celsius minus 9% battery loss compared to the 31% on the 2A plus. And then 36% battery, 36.3 degrees Celsius minus 9% battery loss on a CMF phone one compared to the Nord 4. And then 35% battery, 37.0 degrees Celsius minus 11% battery loss on the Nothing Phone 2A. So yeah, very efficient when it comes to the Nord 4 and the CMF Phone 1 in this particular situation. And this is where things get tough. Now, when we get to the 4K video recording section, this is where things get really intense. And it's 4K 30 on the phones that support it, and then 4K 60 on the phones that support it. The Nord 4 is on 4K 60, the rest are on 4K 30. And most phones would have died within that section, but if you blast past the six hour mark, especially the six and a half hour mark, in my testing, I would say this is very good battery life. And as you can see, all these phones are breezing through it, getting to the seven hour mark. And when we get to the seven hour mark, this is where when it comes to the battery, we are working with 14% battery, 43.5 degrees Celsius minus 17% battery loss on a 2A plus. 24% battery, 39.9 degrees Celsius, minus 14% battery lost on the Nord 4, and a 22% battery, 39.9 degrees Celsius, minus 14% battery lost on the CMF Phone 1, and then 17% battery, 42.9 degrees Celsius, minus 18% battery loss on the Nothing Phone 2A. So it looks like things are slipping behind a little bit on the Nothing Phone 2A plus compared to the previous Phone 2A. And it looks like things are really going to be a heated battle between the OnePlus Nord 4 and the CMF Phone 1. Boy, it's going to go the distance. And now we're going to get into Asphalt Unite, or previously known as Asphalt 9, from the previous update. And this is going to be gaming intensive and pushing it through. How are these phones going to last? Which one is going to can it in first? Or are all of them going to cross the line and make it over to WhatsApp video call at the eight hour mark? And no phone has 100% completed the whole WhatsApp video call. By then it would have done nine hours. And what that basically means is we do have to lap it from TikTok, starting the battery drain test from the beginning again. So it's going to be crazy to see. So will that be the case or not? And actually it won't. It looks like the first person to call it or the first phone to call it quits in this situation is the Nothing Phone 2A Plus. Seven hours, 56 minutes and 52 seconds, a final temperature reading of 42.4 degrees Celsius. In fourth place, the Nothing Phone 2A Plus. Wow, okay. Eight hour interval, 4% battery left, 45.7 degrees Celsius minus 20% battery loss on the North 4. 7% battery left, 42.9 degrees Celsius minus 15% battery loss on the CMF Phone 1. And then 3% battery left on the Phone 2A. 41.3 degrees Celsius for the temperature and minus 14% battery loss. Ooh, things are looking very, very interesting. And it looks like the CMF Phone 1 has pulled ahead on this particular occasion. And we're getting into WhatsApp video call. This is where things become very interesting when it comes to the video call here. And it looks like which one it will be packing in next is going to be the Nothing Phone 2A. At 8 hours, 9 minutes and 27 seconds. A final temperature reading of 39.8 degrees Celsius in third place. So it did beat out the Nothing Phone 2A+. Plus. The 2A is standing strong in this particular situation. But it's really down to the wire between the Nord 4 and the CMF Phone 1. Which one is actually going to take it and who's going to pack it in next? It looks like it is the OnePlus Nord 4 with a time of 8 hours, 30 minutes and 28 seconds. A final temperature reading of 42.9 degrees Celsius in second place. So how far is it gonna go for the CMF Phone 1? Is it gonna make it all the way to the 9 hour mark or is it gonna pack it in anytime soon? And it does. A finishing time of 8 hours, 36 minutes, 54 seconds. A final temperature reading of 40.7 degrees Celsius. In first place, the CMF Phone 1. <laughs> 
So in fourth place is the Nothing Phone 2A Plus with a finishing time of seven hours, 56 minutes and 52 seconds. Context matters. I'm telling you this now, such a finishing time is very, very strong and exceptional battery life in our controlled extreme battery drain test on mobile data. So consider this time very good. It's just up against some heavy hitters when it comes to battery life. So it was in for a tough time, all things considered. But this is the finishing time that we have in this juggernaut battery drain test. And that is the Nothing Phone 2A Plus with a time of seven hours, 56 minutes and 52 seconds. And in third place is the Nothing Phone 2A with a finishing time of eight hours, nine minutes and 27 seconds. The Phone 2A has proven to be very good and one of the best when it comes to battery life on our controlled extreme battery drain test. And it's proved it even more this time around. This is the longest it's run for. So I guess after the updates and all the efficiency and this particular run, it did it past eight hours. So it's a good look. So yeah, third place goes to the Nothing Phone 2A with a finishing time of eight hours, nine minutes and 27 seconds. And in second place is the OnePlus Nord 4 with a finishing time of eight hours, 30 minutes and 28 seconds. For reference, this is the OnePlus Nord 4 in the high performance mode. And overall, I've been thoroughly impressed with just how consistent and good the battery life has been on the OnePlus Nord 4. And it shows here even. And I reckon in this particular situation, in this run, if the performance mode was off, it might have even beaten the CMF Phone 1. So I would say the consistency of the previous battery drain test with the Nord 4, this is such a good look considering the situation that this was in. So yeah, second place goes to the OnePlus Nord 4, finishing time of eight hours, 30 minutes and 28 seconds. And in first place and still our undisputed battery drain champion at the time of this recording, the CMF Phone 1 with a finishing time of eight hours, 36 minutes and 54 seconds man 209 pounds 200 dollars for a phone like this and the battery is this damn good and optimized i've got to give it to the guys at nothing tech for this one man the cmf phone one has been the absolute sleeper hit for july 2024 and in this extreme battery drain test the second time we've done it at the time of this recording it's pulled out the stops in first place eight hours 36 minutes and 54 seconds goes to the CMF Phone 1. How shocked were you by the results when it comes to this extreme battery drain test? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. That's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.